Hello everybody, welcome to Micro Build Series 2. Here we are at the new location, we've got an indoor workshop behind me that you can see. We'll be doing some bits and bobs in later episodes in there. But for now, I thought we'd crack on episode 1, something nice and easy to get us going. We're going to build the bed that you might have seen in stuff like uh, the pirate ship build that we, me and Boyd did or I've done a couple of castle builds that are on the channel as well and I think the bed features in that. So I thought nice and easy we'll get something out the gate so here you go here you can see it as we've built it nice and easy this it's going to take you like five minutes to put together I'm just going to knock up uh, some walls and some floor, uh, some ceiling panels uh, just so that we've got like a space to work in because if you were doing this uh, you'd more than likely be building it inside not outside like this so just to show you how to work with the angles I thought I'd just knock this up first but the thing that we need we're gonna get it started with is this tapestry so if you go into free place and then you can size it up and you want to roughly get it so that the corners are just touching the ceiling and the circles are just over the white line there and then you'll have the right size that'll be just about right for what we're doing so once we've done that we can grab these uh, tied drapes and we'll just shrink them right down a second so that we can get a better angle on them for placing them in You'll see what I mean. This is why I wanted to work with the ceiling so that you can see how to actually get the angles for it. So we'll size it up just so that it sits just underneath that ceiling tile like that. And then that way that'll uh, finish the both of the sides, hide that tapestry off. So just to finish the back wall, we're going to grab this flag. I think we'll have it green. We have the other one purple on the other side. So we'll have this as a green bed. So size this right up so that you can't see gaps at the side and it goes right from one drape to the other. So once we've done that, we get the bed and we're going to be having two beds joined together to make a, a king size or queen size or whatever you want to call it so here we go we'll line this up right don't worry about it going into the wall yet get the angle right on here try and use the uh, the lines on the wood if you can to line yourself up and then once that's in just move aside move to the side of it try to keep your cursor in the right place if you can and it's nice and easy but if not just line that front up and then that will pop in like that and there's your double bed so once we've done that we need to get these molded lock boxes and we'll shrink them right down keeping the handles at the front and uh, we're going to pop one in either side to make a chest of drawers so they're a little bit small there so if we size them up just so that you can fit in between the drapes and the bed on either side and then they'll just look right then right so we don't want to leave the molded box a minute we want to keep it we're going to shrink it down a little bit and we're going to use two or three of them together to make like an ottoman chest of drawers kind of thing at the bottom of the bed where you'd keep your extra linen and bits and bobs so we'll spin this one round so the handles are hidden uh, for what we're going to do and we'll keep the front like that and then once we've done that one the ones that can go either side of it the four that will go either side of it will keep the handles out and then that way it's uh, it's like a large drawer in the middle and then two smaller on the outside or what you can do is you can actually blend them together like this look and you can make it one big handled drawer if you like but we'll keep it like this. I think the other design on the other bed's like that. So, once we've got that, let's head over and grab our rug. Uh, pick whatever colour you want for it. I'm going to stick with green, I think, because of the bed. So we'll bang one in there without doing anything to it at all. And then we'll shrink one down slightly and pop it on the end here. There you go. That's the end of the bed completely finished now. So we just need to grab some candles. And once we've got these candles, shrink them in and pop one either side of the bed on the chest of drawers. Now, you... I pick candles, you can pick anything you want, you can pick light cubes, anything, pop whatever you want on the side there. Uh, the lanterns look good as well, uh, the red ones look good as well, uh, they give it quite a good glow actually. 
But uh, we grab these sandbags, these cement bag things, look. If we double click our axis rotation button, we can change it so that they're leaning off the backboard instead of leaning off the bed. And then that way it looks like plump pillows that have just been flushed ready for someone to go asleep on. Uh, you can colour change them as well using the same way that we do. Find a coloured item, change it to what you want, flip back through the menu to them and they'll be whatever colour you want them to. So a couple of carpets down either side for when you get out of bed so no one likes a cold floor. And I think the last thing we need to do is just pop this light on, yeah. So what I do is I take one of these lights, or one of the three pronged lights, and I bring it over here, shrink it down so that the bit that touches the ceiling fits in between the wooden slots, and then it gives it about the right size. And then, yeah, there you go. That's it. Nice and easy five minute little build. Put it together in your bedrooms and that. You can custom this however you want to. Like I say, you can change the candles out. You can change the colours out. You can do what you want with that. Uh, you don't have to do the ottoman like I did at the bottom. You can put different things on it. But as a template, I think uh, that's a nice way to start. So, uh, yeah, that's been episode one, guys. We've done a bed. Uh, we've got loads coming up in the next nine episodes. So please like and subscribe and uh, follow the channel. And uh, we'll keep going. We're absolutely loving it. Flying past 2K now, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. It's much appreciated. Take care. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.